Hello and welcome to another edition of Learning Bytes. My name is Kevin Barker and I'm a Juniper Network Certified Instructor and today we're going to be talking about implementing Captive Portal on a WLAN controller. We'll walk through the steps using both the Ringmaster Management Tool and the CLI on the WLAN controller. Prior to beginning this exercise we did a basic configuration of the controller and tested end-to-end -end wireless connectivity. So let's start by reviewing the steps needed to define a captive portal. First, we have to set up a service profile for the captive portal. Then we define the authentication rules and establish the user login credentials that will be used to get into the portal. Then map a radio profile to the service profile. Define the ACLs that will limit access until the user is authenticated. Add an IP address if we haven't already done so to the VLAN or configure local switching. And modify the login page logo and wording if we want to customize the captive portal screen for our particular environment. Doing this using Ringmaster, we run the Create Service Profile wizard which walks us through all of the steps. We deploy the change to the controller. We optionally log in to WebView and make changes there. A couple notes on browsers that work and what the user password and ID is for WebView. And finally, of course, we need to test and validate success. So let's define our portal. As I said, we're going to use the Web Portal Service Profile Wizard to make this a very easy process. So we start the wizard and we give our Web Portal a name. I'm going to call it ITG Web Portal and we'll give it an SSID to be displayed. And we will not require a secondary password to get the SSID. We'll run it in clear. VLAN, we're going to go ahead and use a VLAN I've already defined. And the ACLs that will control access until authentication has occurred are automatically filled in by the wizard. So we can just hit next and accept those. For authentication validation, we're going to use the local server here and set up a user just for this purpose. We could, of course, use RADIUS or LDAP if we wanted to use an external server. So we're going to create a special user, in this case called ITG Web, with a very super secret password of ITG Web. And we could override the uh, particular VLAN for this user, but we'll just allow all the users to use the VLAN we've defined. So we'll hit next to go ahead and move on to selecting the radio profile. We're going to use the default radio profile, so we have no other changes, so we'll hit finish. Now our captive portal has been defined. The only other thing we need to do is, in order to get to the portal, the VLAN has to have a IP address associated with it. So I could either give the VLAN an IP address or in this case I'll just allow the VLAN to use the DHCP client that's serving addresses for this particular network segment. I'll say OK. And now I can simply hit deploy to push these changes out to my WLC. The changes have been completed and we're ready to test. Now that we've built our capture, a captive portal, it's time to test this. So let's go ahead and enable our wireless card and attach ourselves to the ITG WebP SSID, which will lead to the captive portal. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And now I'm going to try and navigate over to my favorite website, juniper.net. And we should see ourselves getting redirected to the captive portal. And there we see the portal and we go ahead and enter in our login information. We're going to use the ITG web user ID and password. And you can see here we've made some customization to it. We've added our own logo. And now we see the redirection occurring. And assuming we typed our password correctly, which we did, we are now redirected and are on the Juniper website.
Well, we've seen how to establish a captive portal through Ringmaster. Now we're going to take a look at two other items. We're going to look at setting up or modifying our login page via the WLC's WebView component, and then we'll take a look at using the CLI to establish a captive portal. So first, WebView, we're going to go ahead and log in. Again, the login for WebView is always admin, and the password is the enable password. Once we do that, we will be presented with some menu items and we will select the maintain menu from the top menu bar. And then over on the left, we can navigate to manage web portal access page. So here is the wizard for customizing the page. So we'll select start. We want to edit our page and we're using an authenticated page. The other option is open. We'll say next. Here is where we can add some verbiage. So we'll say welcome to the ITG web portal. And we'll say next again. And now we can choose a logo. And we'll take the ITG logo here. We'll do an upload. And we select click here to view and now we see welcome to the ITG web portal. We don't need to save this as the configuration is automatically saved for us when we walk through the wizard. So that's the next thing we want to cover and now let's talk about how to make a captive portal using the CLI. Steps are pretty straightforward. We log into the controller, we go into enable mode, we enter in the appropriate information just as we did through the wizard, and we then have created our captive portal through the CLI. Again, if we were doing this from scratch, we could log into WebView. And of course, we always want to test and validate the success of our implementation. So here we've got a SSH uh, program up and running, and we're going to log in, our, enter in our username and password. Type enable to drop into enable mode, enter in a password uh, there. And now what I've done is I've got the commands that we're going to be entering into the box already sitting in a notepad to make it very easy to cut and paste. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at these commands from the perspective of the CLI. So we've got the CLI commands here that we're going to be entering into the captive portal. These first set of commands are for a building out the service profile. Pretty straightforward, again, just like we did through the GUI, except now we have to type them all. Then the other commands we need to enter in are where we link the radio profile to the service profile. Our authentication component, we define the fact that we are going to use a local authentication for the uh, data store, and we have a user called ITG Web that we've set up. Um, we've linked the VLAN 5 to use DHCP. And then at the bottom, you'll see the ACL commands. Uh, again, we actually don't have to enter these. Simply building out a web portal service profile causes the WLC to implement the ACLs automatically. They're shown here in case you want to modify them for your own purposes. So we're logged into the box. We have our commands over here in our notepad. We're simply going to go ahead and copy and drop into our SSH session and do a paste. And our config is complete. Now you'll notice if you're a keen-eyed observer that in the uh, notepad configuration statements. I also reference setting the radio mode to disable prior to putting the ITG web portal onto the default radio profile and then I re-enable the radio mode on my AP. That is a requirement of the current version of Ringmaster that's done automatically and seamlessly through the web when you use Ringmaster but when you do it through the wireless controller, you have to disable and re-enable the radio mode. So that's how you configure Captive Portal via Ringmaster and via the controller CLI. Thank you very much for more information about Learning Bytes or about how to configure the wireless controller. Navigate to the Juniper website and look at all the rich content that is available to you there. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. 
view our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.